Hello again in another episode of Gunfire TV. In front of you, there is a stack of replicas of a pistols. Of course, they're all airsoft guns. Now, today, we are going to distinguish which of those is the best, the ultimate, the super duper airsoft gun. So stay tuned. Let's start simple, I mean, very simple. This. HK USP by Umarex is spring operated replica. This one is made of polymer, but of course you may find also, uh, find also metal replicas. How it works? You fill, it, fill the magazine with BBs and you need to reload. If there are BBs in magazine, the slide goes forward. Now if it's empty, it stays in backwards position. And if it's loaded, you've got one, not two, just one shot. And then you need to reload again. So. If a guy on the other side have something semi-automatic or full automatic, well, it kind of sucks. But still, you have some chances. Now, for typical airsoft skirmish, well, this weapon uh, is not very effective. So why to have something like that? For example, you would like to target practice in your house safely. This has not more than 200 FPS. They sometimes have a little bit more, so it's not dangerous. It will not damage your house, your apartment. Of course, always remember about uh, eye protection. And many guys, especially those who've got m many different types of outfits, use different types of this kind of a pl plastic, cheap replicas of different models of firearms just to fill their holsters. Yeah, just to look cool. Now, this shiny beauty made by STTI is non-blowback pistol. What you need to do is to put BBs and green gas inside the magazine and when you pull the trigger, the BB which is in the chamber will be pushed with uh, green gas from the barrel. And you do that until you've got BBs inside. When all BBs are gone, you can still operate it, but then you are shooting this empty. You can, in this model, not in all of them, you can check out the chamber by uh, pulling the slide, but th that does not move during the shooting, so it's not as realistic as GBB. They, are, they have some pros and cons. The pros are they don't use a lot of gas uh, and they work a bit uh, longer during those cold uh, months. I'm not saying they're gonna work in minus 20, but they work a bit better than blowback pistols. And if you install a silencer, they will be very, very quiet. Unlike the GPPs, we will get back to that. So, uh, more realistic than spring, more power, more accuracy, but still not such uh, realism as in GPPs. So why don't we take some of those? Say hello to Glock 19X by Umarex. Did it rhyme? Yes, yes it did. All right, so as in non-blowbacks, you put green gas and BBs inside the magazine. Now what you need to do is to take the slide back. If there are BBs, and I'm gonna be pulling uh, the slide release all the time. If there are BBs inside, the pistol will shoot and reload. And again, and again, and again, until the last BB leaves the barrel and then the slide stays in backwards position. So just like a, in a real gun. What you need to do then is to replace the magazine with full one and hit uh, the slide release or work with a slide. Now, it's very realistic. It works almost like a real gun, except there's not, there, there's no press uh, getting out of the replica, but there are this kind, this kind of replicas on the market. Uh, very realistic, works like a real one. Uh, you've got a fillable, fillable blowback, so if you shoot rapidly, you can see that it's not so easy to hit the target. M in most situations, you've got adjustable uh, hop-ups, so you can use different weights of BBs. 
So very, very cool. Now, this one uses green gas. There are others that use different type of gas. Now, this bad boy by KWC works with CO2. The spring here is very, very hard, and that means we've got CO2 here, and it's gonna take me a second, so let's push it forward faster. There we go. I can't see any gas getting out of the magazine. And now let's rock and roll. This really has some kick. Now, not every CO2 pistol has a very hard kick by KWC. They do their job very, very well. Now, CO2, mm, is it better than green gas? That is a question for another episode. But for sure, it works uh, better in uh, conditions of, uh, of lower temperature. Again, not minus 20 or even minus 10, but few degrees better than uh, green gas, usually. Now, there are those GBBs that make your heart pump the blood much faster into your veins, like this um, Tokyo Marui Xtreme 45. And I'm, of course, talking about full auto pistols. As you can see, it's, it's not broken. It will just not stop until there's gas inside the magazine. Woo! Not only this bad boy, there are also models which have selector, which could, uh, which allows you to shoot semi or full auto. I love those babies, but do not use full auto much too often because the magazine gets very, very cold and you can uh, freeze the valves unless you use HPA, but that's a totally different story. Some of replicas come with adapter for silencer. This is GBB and this silencer is also tracer, so works very nice in low light conditions. Of course, no BBs inside the pistol, but you think it should be quieter. A very long thread. It actually isn't, because most of the noise gets out through here. So, a lot of realism, but it's hard to make it very quiet. But there is a solution for that. Now, there is category of airsoft pistols that is quite universal but not as realistic. So, that's the magazine and the rest of the gun here is gearbox because it's an electric replica and here's a battery, LiPo to be exact. Now, now it took many, many years producer to put LiPos into their pistols, but luckily they are now on the market. Now, they usually have a bit under or a little bit over 200 FPS, but they usually have single fire and full auto, and they work especially with LiPos in all weather conditions. What is this advantage? The slide is not moving, there is no noise, and they rather like low weight BBs, unlike GBBs, which uh, most of them have a dual grip and you can totally use very heavy DBs with almost the same range and better accuracy, but very universal. So, which would be the best? That is the question. So, 
which to choose, which to choose, which of those is the best airsoft gun? Well, maybe I tell you to buy every single one of them. <laughs> Not a joke, it's good to have more than once. Now, I'm gonna tell you what do you, I use. I use one spring pistol, usually in my garage, shooting random things because it's very low power. I don't recall ever taking spring pistol on a skirmish. I already showed you my uh, non-blowback uh, non uh, pistol, which I use quite often if I want to be very quiet, especially if I operate with a sniper rifle. Now, I love GBBs, I've got plenty of those, and I also have magazines modified, modified for HPA, and I adore using uh, these machines. I also have electric pistol, one, only one, I usually use it uh, during winter, mm, but if I wanted to be honest, if I should cho choose only one, I think I would stay with GBB. Just remember that during the winter, well, it will stay home. If you want something very universal, uh, electric pistol should be your choice. I hope, I hope that I answered any questions that you might have had. Now, Leave your opinions in our comment section, hit the bell, leave a like and subscribe. See you again in another episode of Gunfire TV.